can like do with no you, wrong with you. with you. Like, sometimes I agonize over, oh, man, what should we watch? I want to make sure there's something that Asian want to watch. It's like, if I just so picked it, you. you would just be like, oh, this is the best pick you ever could have picked. You're just happy to be here. <laughs> like, I'm always like, oh, man, I hope that I don't bore her with this. Or even worse, and I know a lot of people do this. No, you do this. And I try my best to accommodate you. If I turn something on, it's probably because it's significant to me. So there's a little part of me that's like, I'm really hoping that you're paying attention. Mm-hmm. And then if you look up and you and I realize that you're into it, it's like, oh, man, she into it. I'd like to do more. I could show her more. This is something I want to do. But that's not but, for every but, single thing. But if it. you don't. If you don't go that route, then suddenly I feel like I even I got to say something to play it down. Like, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that cool. Like, like Did I'm playing it off. Know? Yes. But you don't like, for everything you turn on. You nine and a half times out of ten. If I turn something on, it's because it's something that's important to me or significant. And I want to share it with you. Okay, but I don't want to force times, it on you. But what about the times when we, because most times when we watch that, we discover it together. But if Sometimes you're turning we on do, something yes. like, you know, like if you turn on like Voltron, you know, the original Voltron, then obviously you're going down memory lane. And I understand just, that. Or you turn, the, and and like, okay, like, are you talking about like when we were watching Power Rangers? No, not even, like the other day. I was in the room when I was flipping through the PS4. We got a PS4. I don't even fucking touch that thing, really. <laughs> but I was flicking through some of them, and I saw that all the episodes of Doctor Who was there. And I, for a minute, I struggled with, I would like to watch an episode of Doctor Who. But I would like Asia to watch it with me. But in doing so, I wanted it to be, you were as excited to watch it with me as I was with you. Because I wanted to be able to watch it with you and be engaged in it with you. And discuss it with you. you And it's like, but it's wrong of me to think that just because it's something that I want to do that you stop. Don't let me let me finish. It was was wrong. I didn't. Oh, if it's something that I want to do, of course she's she's fucking Asia. It's rude and presumptuous of me. But tonight, I want you to understand that I realize it's what you want. You want me to just turn something on. You would, because whatever I want to watch. It's clearly important. Whatever I want to do, it's clearly important. I'm so worried about, oh, what would Asia want? You just want what I want. And sometimes it makes me really indecisive because I want to make sure that you're getting what you want too. But all you want is to do the things that I want. And I used to think you were weird for that. I thought it was a bit much. I was, I was concerned for you. Because, like, what happens if it doesn't work out? What if, what if there's something else? Like, what if I disappoint this girl? Like, all you want is to make me happy. And I was, and that worried me so. It's like, it just, it seemed like it was so unhealthy. And I found myself obsessed about it until it hit me that I'm the exact same way with you. So if it makes sense when I do it, why is it crazy when you do it? I should just let you do what you want to do. It's what you want. You want to do little things for me. You want to things that you think will make me smile. I'm not doing you no favors by sparing you from doing it. I'm not burdening you when I say, hey, here's the thing I like. You're hoping for it. And I'm keeping that from you. I'm sorry. It's just I'm trying to be such a gentleman. But it's like you just want me to have all the things that I want. It's taken me a long time to finally realize that that's not a circular argument. It just, it is what it is. And I swear to you, it keeps coming back to me. It keeps coming around tonight. It exists because it is. It keeps coming back to that. All I got to do is be here. If I turned on an episode of Doctor Who right now, I was like, oh, come on, bitch. This is going to be a good episode. You would get up and you perk up and you'd be like, oh, daddy, I remember this one. And we start comparing other episodes and shit. 
that we would get into it and it wouldn't be because you felt like you had to entertain me. It's because you just want to be near me and do the things that I want. That's all you want. And that's all that I want. And it's just like, it's got to let go and just let you have it. Like I'm denying both of us. That's fucked up. But we psychotic as fuck. Make no mistake about it. Just there's a sweet love story here. I swear to you, it's just, oh my god, from the from the most shocking of beginnings to the most romantic of endings. It's like this is a beautiful love story, but we psychotic. Like, and we just ain't we not right in the head. And deep down, we know that. I can admit that deep down. Deep down, there's a screw loose. Just enough to or make... Or maybe your screws are tight and everyone else is loose. See? That's a psychotic motherfucking <laughs> thing to say. That's the most conspiratory <laughs> thing you could ever say. Maybe the whole world is just fucked up and I'm good. See? Right back around. See what I'm talking about? Three motherfucking 60. See what... Who, there's something wrong with us. Who the fuck are we? The, the whole universe conspired to make sure that we... Really? Wow. But it's us, dude. And I love you. I wouldn't trade you for the world. Listen. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to get the fuck off of this. This is a small documentary. Right? <laughs> this is a short film. Like, it's shit. It's going to be nice, really nice though. Look at back like, yeah. a year from yeah, now. Yeah, this is going to be like, <laughs> wow, that was. This will be like, like the story of us. I watch the story of us sometimes. Really? Oh. Yeah. Just I like to, I like to hear it. But, uh, oh my God, don't let me forget. Oh, I remember now. I remember now. I had a moment earlier with Kari mm-hmm. because once upon a time, me and him sat in this living room. I think we was high as shit. Oh, oh, y'all see that? That was an eclipse or some shit. Eclipse. That's the, <laughs> the, the lights got dim. Wow. In space in our room. And, and then there were aliens. What the fuck is that? <laughs> so, a couple it of months earlier last year, more late last year, whatever. It was a while ago. Me and Kari sat in the living room and we may have been high, we may not have been. And we plotted out five full seasons of a show that we call Future Imperfect. And we, man, we had it mapped out. It was fucking brilliant in our heads. And then it just, I don't know. The high went down, we forgot. Like we remember fragments of it here and there. Recently, I decided to go back to writing. And I said to myself, I needed something. Hey, here's my son now. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm talk- <laughs> Dude, whole fucking documentary. You were just 40 minutes in counting. Goddamn. Oh. And I'm telling the story. Hey, you'll see how significant this was. So, having a conversation. And I decided to myself, I need something that will really fucking inspire me to go back and do something. So, I order a fucking laptop. It's coming in the mail tomorrow. And for the first thing I decide to do is I want to pull up Future Imperfect, which requires me, because all I got is little bits and pieces, requires me to spend an order and some amount of time with my son here as we map it out, as it would be my honor to write the story that he came up with, but we developed together. It's like, that was a big deal for me. And I was like, I'm looking forward to that process. Like, that's going to be a big deal for me. But I said that to say this. I had that moment with him tonight, and it was really nice. And now I want to tell you, with all sincerity, you pulled up that little that little message board. You got to show me them old stories that I wrote. It's like, that shit was fucking cute. It was adorable. So I'm looking at you now, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to start writing notes for you again. Really? Just randomly for no reason. I'm going to start doing that for you. 
Because it was the most adorable thing back then. <laughs> and I look at them now and just like, wow, these are cheesy as fuck. <laughs> but I wasn't lying. I wrote a story about us being concerned about bills and having to borrow money from her mother. I swear really? to you on everything. There's a story about me stressing about the bills. And you're like, well, I'll call my mom. No, honey, I don't want her to think any less of It's I ridiculous. Know what that is. I read it's that ridiculous. One. Like, it's just, it's fucking crazy <laughs> weird. The so it's like, I want to start doing those for you again. It would just be nice for you to have. I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm done. This is the, the end of my documentary, if you want to. Say, say, say a cool catchphrase. Cool, okay. Insert cool catchphrase here. That's not uh, Feel free to thumbs up and subscribe. And if What's you like my other channel? content, by the name, what's the channel about? about? <laughs> <laughs> God. Where, what, what's your social media platforms? Um, man, I'm on Facebook and Twitter at Adam Sessler. You got any sponsors? Why, why the fuck did I say Adam Sessler? Why, why was Adam <laughs> Sessler the first name that came to mind? I don't even know who that is. You got any sponsors? Uh, uh, I'm sponsored by, by Fruit of the Loom. Because it was the first... Support me on Patreon. Yeah, support me on Patreon. Any little bit of help. <laughs> Cast me outside. How about that? That's that a catchphrase. That's not a catchphrase. Hey, you gotta say a catchphrase too. Uh, Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> hey. New Rick and Morty? I don't know. It wasn't a week ago. That was the first. Dude, it's the eighth. That's exactly a week. Well, if it was, I don't know about it. I'm just saying. No, I feel you. It's about that time. Right, I'm just saying. It's in the air. Right. It's in the atmosphere. I'm, I think I'm going to watch that first one again. That was a good episode. Oh, my really God. Good. That was really good. I like the part where Morty shot Rick. I thought that was really fucking Right. Funny. Oh, I my God. Was, I thought that like, was this, this scene is yeah. going to be dark. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I dig it. Dude, we are fucking psychotic. Oh my god. We all look. So... I like that part where that nigga died. Right? <laughs> when he shot him and he killed his grandfather. That's what I'm talking about. Listen to us. It's something. So... We all broken, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's ridiculous. But it fucking works. Oh my god. Just. I love you. This is going to be one of my favorite videos to watch. I know that. Sometimes I go back and I watch our shit. This is going to be one of my favorites. Yeah, I agree. Fucking love you. I love you more. You know what? I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. Because I'm thinking to myself, I ain't cleaned off my memory card in a while. Mm -hmm. And I would hate for this month to just stop. Oh, and yeah. something happened to this footage. So it's like, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead and I'm going to push this button. Okay, but I'm so worried about it that I stopped and I told that story first. <laughs> If I was really worried about it, I would just push the button. See? Up. See, look at that. No. See? No, low that's battery. It said low battery. I'm pushing oh, it. I'm pushing the button. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. <laughs> fuck that. I'm no.